515 right now. It is time to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Today, the Supreme Court hearing arguments in the second case that could determine if tech companies are liable for hate speech on their platforms. The justice is already saying they're weary of the impact a potential ruling could have. That's because this is the first time an Internet speech law will be heard in the highest court. Free speech on social media is largely unregulated in the U.S. Let's connect the dots. Right now, the only law holding Internet companies accountable is Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. It states that a company is not legally responsible for what is said on their online platforms. Now, that law is up for evaluation through two cases being heard by the Supreme Court. The cases are against Google and Twitter. Both cases center around a viral video of ISIS claiming responsibility for the death of an American citizen. Her father now claims Google and Twitter allowed their algorithms to promote a terrorist video to the masses. The current cases in the Supreme Court will decide whether a company should face legal consequences for boosting viral content that contains dangerous messaging. If the justices decide they should be liable, companies will have to reevaluate how their algorithms operate. The two cases should be decided as soon as June. And that is Connecting the Dots.